Hi everyone, Nathan here from JS Power Sports. And if you're having a fuel related issue with your uh, snowmobile, in this particular case, we're on an IQ 440 here, but the same thing had happened on the 600s. A lot of guys are going in the carbs and, and cleaning things up two or three times, maybe even taking the fuel pump apart and still can't quite solve the problem. Um, first off, if it seems like it's flooding or overfueling, you should check the needle and seat O-rings or the, or the float assembly O-rings uh, in the carb and if those are a problem then those will need to be replaced uh, this is a 440 here doesn't have the same style that the 600s do however same issue can arise um, but where I always tell people to start off at is at the very beginning the fuel pickup and you can use a, a coat hanger or whatever to fish yours out of there but uh, this one's been in for a while we have a quick look down in the tank here and what do we see? We see a whole bunch of broken up pieces down in there from the original hose. So this sled might run good with a full tank of fuel, but once it gets around a half a tank, it's gonna start having some issues. And um, all of those pieces that have broke loose down in there can wind up all throughout your entire fuel system, which means in your fuel pump, and then from there pumped up into your carbs, which can cause all kinds of problems clogging things up. So it's best to have an inline filter clear down in here if you can or somewhere up in this line before it goes to the fuel pump. Uh, alternatively, you could do one after the fuel pump, but if you do one before, it's gonna stop anything from getting into the fuel pump. So at this point, all of this needs to be taken apart and uh, all the debris taken out of there uh, and then the fitting pulled out here and a new line inserted down in below there. Of course, all the parts are available on our website, jspowersports.com. Uh, thanks for looking. Hope you get your issues solved and back in the snow.